Today's processes and technologies produce low yields and therefore our customers need to run more batches, creating capacity issues and cost increases. We have a strong portfolio of best-in-class core products, delivering the highest level of retention assurance and productivity across a broad range of feed stream characteristics. Biomonitoring has some key advantage through careful selection of raw materials, highly engineered and highly controlled production, as well as our top-notch implementation of automation, traceability, and control to ensure that we are delivering the same quality standard that our customer wants to pass on their patient. Biomonitoring continues to grow the legacy it adds throughout the history of microbiology, going back to the first culture media patents, being the first to introduce closed membrane filtration for sterility, and today, with our most recent developments in bioburden testing, and alternative pyrogen testing. One of the greatest advances I would say in the past 10 years is the improvement of our technology for how we test our samples. Originally we used to test in a clean room for all sterility samples. Now we have shifted, we're starting to use and we have been using a sterility isolator for some time now. This is a process improvement. We have seen increased client request and demand for that, and that is a service that we do offer our clients. It's a fairly obvious statement to say that there will be a larger scale introduction of automation and robotic systems, and then I guess taken to that nth degree will be self-contained processes and you know, the so-called lights out production. I think you know, the, the other part of that is, is having data and, and meaningful data, and that, that, you, know, you must be able to not only generate that, um, but also keep track of it and know where it all is. So to be agile enough to make decisions off the, off the trend data. For that to really happen, you're gonna need sort of automated data systems, uh, tracking mechanisms and, and processes. And then, you know, as, as kind of comes a standard now, and it's, it's, it's very vogue, but obviously data integrity, uh, security of the information and audit trails and, and, and making sure that, you know, you have a, a four-eyed principle, for, for example, for, for plate counting. So how could we manage the huge influx of data that's generated from tracking our samples and our raw materials? Well, that's a great question. Here at Process Solution Services, upon receipt in our bio repository, the sample has a unique six-digit alphanumeric key code identifier. We refer to this as the Test Article Identification Number, or the TAID. Using this TAID, we can track the sample at any given time in our LIMS management system. So we know, for example, when the sample is in the biorepository, right down to the controlled temperature unit or the fridge or freezer where it is stored, to once it has been ordered by the technicians, when it is in transit to the laboratory, on test or on disposal. We can use this information with a direct date and time stamp to generate a chain of custody so at any given time we know exactly where that test article is located. We have gained extensive knowledge of our customers' processes and pain points by working side by side with them for decades and that gives us an advantage to help evolve their manufacturing process. We plan to continue to lead the industry in microbiology testing and further support the lab science business of Medipore Sigma.